I remember about one year ago, I really, really struggled to stay on these self-improvement habits and I would always, always just stop doing them at one point. And there is one thing that actually saved me from this rut and I actually got some momentum. And that thing is morning routines. By far the best thing I did for my self-improvement journey. I'm going to give you two morning routines and you're going to tell me which one will be more productive, will get more work done. And the other one, you'll pretty much get fuck all done. So the first routine, Steve does this. As soon as he wakes up, he rolls around in bed for a few minutes, goes on his phone, scrolls on Reddit, TikTok, Instagram Reels, doesn't even open his blinds. And then while he's scrolling, he finds some softcore porn. Then he relapses again. And he goes to his kitchen after he wakes up. And his mum and dad just smells his B.O. sweat. Like, you know when you fap and you don't leave the house? You have this different kind of stinky smell. And it's not like the one where you work out. It's a really kind of different B.O. smell. You could just smell it on someone. Doing that morning routine will set you up for failure. Steve shows instant gratification instead of delayed gratification. And what do you think Steve's rest of the day is going to be like? You think he's going to be productive and make millions of dollars? You think he's going to go to the gym and work out? Of course not. Morning routines are overpowered. And then we got the ultimate Sigma male alpha giga chat. What do you think he does when he wakes up? Does he scroll? Or does he get up and go straight to the cold shower? And I know that part of your brain. Oh, but Andrew Tate said cold shower is gay and he doesn't do it. And I want to be like Andrew Tate. So I don't want to have a cold shower. Stop fucking coping. You see that part of your brain? I call that the Steve brain. That part is takes up about 95% of your brain. That same brain got you to watch 600 times now. So clearly, that part of your brain is fucking stupid. You should not trust it. You should not listen to it. Sometimes you got to fucking turn your brain off. Because if your life was going very well and you trusted your brain, then sure, who the fuck am I? But clearly, you can't even trust your own brain. So... Soon as you wake up, go to the cold shower as soon as you can. Turn on the cold. You're not going to do some cute little, oh, I will start with hot, wash myself a bit, and then I'll do colder and colder. We're not pussies here. You're going to go straight cold. The whole point of a cold shower is to shock yourself. It's not to slowly turn up the cold to get used to it. No. So, go on that cold shower. In the beginning, if I'm being honest, you're going to do like three seconds. Now I could do two, three minutes. But this is a build up over about eight days. Actually, eight days is not even that long. I'm looking from here. There's a I have a habit tracker. See, this is this is today. So I did a cold shower. I meditated. I, I'll, I'll I'll explain these later. And then now doing some work. So I don't fake that shit. I actually do what I told you guys to do. Anyways, the reason why I said cold shower first and not second is cold shower is gonna give you that sudden shock and wake you up and. It will boost certain happy hormones, like it will boost dopamine, which, you know, I talk about dopamine a lot on this channel. It basically means the pursuit of pleasure, so it's motivation, which you definitely need. Serotonin, adrenaline, just all the good things that you need. And those neurochemicals will help you a lot with doing a hard work task, which I'm going to explain later on to the video. Now, before you skip, you're going to think, okay, I get a cold shower. And then I know you because you're a pussy, you're not going to do it. Make sure you do the cold shower. It won't be the same if you do everything else and you don't do a cold shower. So trust me on this. Stop being a pussy for once. Go in there, get cold and get out. It will build your mental discipline because who the fuck wants to just stay there in the cold shivering? It will make you more motivated. As soon as you do that, brush your teeth and then... What you're going to do now is you're going to see some sunlight. If you have a balcony or garden, go there. If not, you could just open your window and just look out. Like, you need to see some sun in your eyes. Not because of the vitamin D benefits, because when you wake up, you have to see some sort of sun in your eyes because you want your circadian rhythm to restart. So, let's say you don't see light. And most idiots keep their blinds closed. Their body doesn't know if it's morning or daytime, so they never end up getting tired so their sleep schedule gets fucked. So as soon as you wake up, see some sun, so 16 hours later, you get tired again. And if you think, oh, well, I live in the UK of shit weather, same. Yeah, I know there's shit weather. The whole point is not to get vitamin D. 
there's still sun there. If there was no sun, it would be dark. So there is sun. Okay, then you're going to do some gratitude journaling. So anything that you feel grateful for. At first, you're going to have to force it. But later on, it's going to be a lot easier for you. I recommend you do this on a piece of paper. I've tried online do Word document or whatever. It just doesn't hit the same. It doesn't feel like I actually am meaning it. But that's just me, maybe. But do a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be long. People think you have to write fucking paragraphs of gratitude. No, in the beginning, you just write, I'm grateful for this glass water cup because it's not plastic and it's not estrogenic. Anything. I'm grateful for this keyboard because I can type and script my work. I'm grateful for this book because I learned about this technique which helped me a lot. Stuff like that. And after that, you're going to meditate. So, the whole point of meditation is concentrate on your breath. And when you, your brain starts to wander somewhere else, take your mind back to the breath. So that's like one rep in the gym. That's what meditation is. Don't be pissed off at yourself that you always think of random things. It's normal. The whole point is to take it back and train your mind. So all of this so far has taken you somewhere from 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how long your meditation is and all that. This whole time, you have not checked your phone. Don't touch your phone. I recommend you leave it in another room. That's what I do. Don't keep your phone near you. And I'll explain later why. All right, right after this, you're going to do some deep work. And deep work is pretty much the opposite of shallow work. So deep work is maybe doing a really hard homework project you have to fully give your concentration to. For me, deep work is scripting videos, recording them, editing them. I can't just play a game while doing that. You need to focus your full attention on it. That's what deep work is. So no shallow bullshit, let me make this thumbnail or the video I already made. No. This is where you do your hardest task. It doesn't have to be in business. It could be in school. It could be in, fuck, I don't know, whatever you do. And here it is vital. Never ever check your phone. And when you go, if you go on your computer to work or whatever, turn your internet off or turn off all of your notifications where you know you get messages or some shit like that. So let's say you're uh, scripting a video and you get a fucking Discord call from your friends. You may think, oh, let me just answer the call. Hey guys, and that wouldn't do anything. Trust me, it makes a massive, massive difference in your productivity. I saw a big difference in my productivity when I never checked my phone and I turned off all notifications. Your brain actually gets distracted for 15 minutes after it sees a notification. So you may think you could go straight back to it, but no, your brain's still wandering after 15 minutes. Do this for a bit and then go eat. This whole time you have to be fasted. So you should be only drinking water. And then after that, you can enjoy yourself to a nice meal, make sure it's healthy, testosterone boosting, and then go work out later. I don't really count them in the morning routine, but yeah, that's just pretty much what I do after. So you've been taking all of this information for 10 whatever minutes, and you're thinking, oh, no. well, this is great, but I can't even go to the gym three times a week. I'm not disciplined enough. What do I do? Now, I'll tell you what you do. Every single habit I told you to do, you still do them, but you do it for a lot shorter period. For example, meditation for me is 10 minutes. For you, it's going to be 10 deep breaths. So this is one. Do 10 of those. That's how you're going to begin. You're going to still hop in the cold shower, but you're going to do it for one second. Your deep work is going to be 10 minutes. Mine's about three hours. You know what I'm saying? Decrease the time. So like gratitude journaling, you can be one sentence. And then slowly but surely, that progressive overload in the gym, you're going to increase your time. The one second call shower will turn into five seconds. Then it'll eventually go to a minute and you'll start to work two, three hours. That's exactly what you're meant to do step by step. By the way, bro, if you got to the end of the video, I know you're not like the 99%. The 99% can even watch this video for 10 seconds without clicking to the next one because dopamine receptors are fried. But you, you actually want to improve yourself. You want to change to your life. You don't want to live like a loser anymore. And I understand your feeling. I'm not all the way at the top yet, but I'm grinding to get there. So if you want to learn more stuff like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Let's become strong men again in a weak society. Bye.